this humanoid robot just kicked its own CEO, and the CEO was knocked straight to the ground. He was wearing full protection gear and still said no normal human could survive that kick without armor. So now the real question is, has this gone too far? Isn't this the first law of robots supposed to be? Never harm a human. Jokes aside, what you're seeing here is not a sci-fi prop. This is the engine AIT-800 humanoid robot, and it's insanely powerful. It's because it's using a fully in-house, full-stack joint system. Each joint can output up to 450 newton meters of torque, with a peak power burst of 14,000 watts per joint. And that's why it can punch, it can kick, sprint, and recover with explosive force, the kind of force usually reserved for industrial machines. The T-100 uses a self-developed microjoint mechatronics and a 360-degree LiDAR protection system to build real-time 3D maps of its environment in milliseconds. Which means it doesn't just hit hard, it sees, plans, and avoids obstacles intelligently. All this power isn't just for fighting demos. The same abilities translate directly into industrial work, logistics, rescue, and heavy-duty automation. So what do you think? Are we still just testing machines? Or are we officially entering the area of dangerously capable humanoid robots?